What's up guys, this is the BS Zombie here, and I'm doing a little video on the best place to put the trample scene, in my opinion. This place comes in help comes in handy a lot during high round games when you're not using a circle fire or some other gun like off the wall. This is my favorite spot to train, this is in the Buddha room. And this trample scene spot will help you it, it will open up the possibilities with this spot right here. Right here, most people think, oh, if I'm going to use a wall gun, I have to use this gun, right? Well, over there, I have to use that. But with the trample scene placed right there, it opens up the possibility to numerous guns. Alright, you're running trains here, and crap, you're out of ammo. What do I do? You run over here, get your zombies to follow you, and guess what? You just crouch, jump, and you're over here. And this is the main one, you can buy MP5 ammo. Have that pack a punch, run trains, pack a punch it, get some ammo, run up here, and you just jump back over here, and jump over here, and you're ready to go again. You All the zombies will despawn and start spawning over there in that building, in that skyscraper. And your trample scene will stay safe, won't be hit. But I haven't seen it actually destroyed by zombies yet. Every so often if I have a train and I accidentally fall down here, I might hear a zombie... Uh, oh crap, I thought it was a hole right there. Uh, sometimes it would trigger that trample scene and the zombie might go over there for some reason. But also, it th just doesn't open up to the MP5. You can also get three other guns. So... Uh, Four other guns, five maybe. Like almost every wall gun you can get using that trample scene. Besides the Remington, Remington's way down there, and I wouldn't suggest getting that. But you get your trample scene, put it right there, and you just run around, you run around until the elevator is ready. You just keep doing laps, keep doing laps, keep doing laps, and then. Once you keep doing the laps, you'll eventually find that the Quick Revive Elevator will all will be down and be able to be used for your uh, your ammo getting needs. See right here, I might need to do two more laps, so let's keep jumping around. And my advice to you is not to just keep doing trains. You might want to wait because the zombies will. There might be a few zombies in this building that might get in your way and if they get in your way you won't be able to get ammo and they just like it my advice to you is just to hey Rambo uh, just for you to wait a little bit for the zombies to despawn start up another train and mother trucker you can also use this elevator right here but if the power's not on so I'm going to go ahead and cut Cut a few of uh, these laps out because I'm pretty sure you do not want to see me do 100 laps waiting for that elevator to come around. So I'll talk to you in a second. Oh, yeah, one thing before I thought of before the elevator comes up, you can also use the B23R. I would not suggest using that because it becomes pretty weak pretty early in the rounds and you'll just be wasting ammo. You'd be like shooting all your. You should be shooting your horde, you like train them all up, shoot them all, run out of ammo, and half of your zombies will be injured. And as soon as you jump over, you're going to have to injure those zombies all over again. And that, it just, it will draw out the round. So I would not suggest using the B23R, but you can use it. Alright, I'm going to keep doing trains, wait for that elevator to come back. Alright guys, the elevator is here again. I'm going to wait for that, that the zombies over there, so I'm pretty sure I can... Just go ahead and get on top of it. And if your trample scene like breaks or something, you jump over here, you can get a new trample scene, get down there and place it, and run around, and you will have plenty of time to do that before the zombies spawn. You know what? Did he just respawn? That's weird. But alright, the PDW. You can now get the PDW. That you get the PDW, run over here because this is the safe one to do because no zombies are jumping down from up there or downstairs. 
you can just go ahead and jump down here and run around. Also, this also opens up the SVU because you can open up this door right here and get the SVU and get ammo for that infinite amount of times. And then I'll show you what you do. But you can also ride the elevator up there and get ammo for the M14 in the Olympia. The Olympia is in spawn, which is, uh, I guess, that way. Uh, I'm bad with directions. But what you do is you get your SVU and you just run down here. And if you're lucky, there's no, you know, uh, zombies right there. But most likely, there won't be. Especially if you've had a carpenter recently. And you jump down and you'll be a okay. Let's do that again. You run over here. I'll suggest going around there in case the zombies don't. In case the zombies start hitting it, it you give uh, less chance of the zombies hitting it if you run around. Because the zombies don't go out of their way to hit stuff. They just go. They just hit something that's in their way. So you just like run straight into it from around. The zombies will not be there. To, I don't know how to explain it that much. I'm not commentary. Tips. I need to get some more commentary expertise or something. I don't know. But here I'm gonna wait for the uh to revive. Got my cash back. I got that recently. And I'll show you how to get the Olympia in 14 ammo. The only problem I've had when doing this is that this elevator sometimes is a little slow. But I, right, you get up here, you get your in 14 ammo and run. Basically, you do not want to stop running. You get your ammo right here, just run. Run over here, just jump over here, and just keep running your laps. That's the best place to put your jump scene, in my opinion, is right there. Also, I'll give you some tips for uh, online use, besides just for getting ammo runs and stuff like that. Alright, most people put their trample seam. Let's go around. Most people put their trample scene kind of like, I can't show you right here without risking falling off, but it jumps over this with the radio tower. In my opinion, if you put it right there, you can jump down from up, crap, it's over here. You can jump down on top of this pillowcase, run, jump over. And this is easier because if you have a trample seam up there, there might be zombies in the way. And it's hard to wait for the trample seam to ready up and you be able to use it because there's so many zombie spawns over there. If you have like three players trying to use that same trample seam to get across, you're going to have to wait if you're the last guy a good amount of time. And in that time, there will be a lot of zombies in your way. If you jump down here, most likely you have less zombies coming at you. And it's easier to uh, protect yourself because if you just stand right here, the zombies are not coming around. And if they do, they'll start hitting it and you would know. But STV is Z. I like, I hope you like this video. I like it. And I think it's great tips. And it's great for using MP5, any gun weapon really. Besides the Remington. The Remington kind of uh, suffers from this. It doesn't really, it doesn't suffer, but it doesn't get any benefits from this. But I hope you like this video. It's CBSZ. I'll talk to you guys later.